Welcome to Hillside Park, a brand new 18-hole disc golf course, and this might be my new home course. Tee pads are mostly in, signage is mostly in. I had very little to nothing to do with the course design here, but uh, I've walked it and it seems very fun, so I thought it's time to show you guys what's up here in Boylston, Massachusetts, joined by Call Prince. Oh, perfect. <laughs> 1,024 rated guy. 23. 23. 24 this year. And I have a new camera and a new lens that we're testing today. Um, let me know if you like it. I'll figure out if I like it when I'm editing. Hole one, par four, 500 feet. We might get shot today. All right, so we have some turf tee pads, absolutely beautiful. And then hole one, that rock right there is new I haven't seen before. But there's a gap in the woods that shoots like down to the right. And that is where we are going. The camera I'm using, by the way, for the camera nerds out there is the Sony ZV-E1 with a lens on it that goes from 24 to 240 millimeters. That's the zoom. Or the focal length, I'm not sure. No, that's not the focal length. That's different, different numbers. But the zoom here is a bit tight and I'm going to have to get used to how this works. That looked peered. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to give the time lapse a rip. By the way, next Friday, Black Friday, big time lapse drop. We got the whole one intro plane. Casual plane every single time. I'm going to try and turn this over a bit into the gap. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, right where I want to be. I might have a little run there for Eagle. By the way, last week I posted a vlog with Kevin Jones and I had to re-upload the video, which I think messed with the algorithm. So I think maybe some of you have not even seen that that video exists. So just a little shout out if you want to check out my vlog with Kevin Jones out at Hornet's Nest. It'll be at the end of this video. And you can see it on my channel, of course. Shout out Kevin Jones. Better give it a chance. Yeah, I got the eagle look. Glitch run. Perfect little glitch run. Ah, uh, off the tree. Oh. Oh no, that's a tester. <laughs> Paul is left with a similar look. Bit right side of the pierway. Oh my. Oh. I don't hate a green like this where you have smaller trees and you have to get creative with how you want to make this putt. I agree, having, look at that, creative putting. Having trees within, yeah, I think within circle really one. Thing. Even on the pro tour and that course design is to keep in mind, is having little trees around the green is so cool and actually might make putting harder. I'm talking so much about course design also on Instagram. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was just at a course design conference with John Houck best course designer in the world arguably I'd say so and I learned a lot and it made me think a lot so now you have to be part of my thoughts unfortunately <laughs> 295 par 3 and we have OB surround a basket pretty cool looking hole after this we go a bit into the woods so Paul has 300 foot hyzer little breezy can't see anything. Oh, it died. Where'd it go? Straight? It, it's in the OB. It dropped straight out of the air. Oh no. Going matrix. Make sure you commit to the line. I don't love how close that T sign is to the. Yeah. It makes me think about it, and you should not think about T signs on your run up. Come on, Heiser! I think that's good. 
Paul actually was just an OB. We gave him the nice spot. Give him a chance to save Paul, and he does. Wow. What's your secret? Uh, I'm starting to get the step putt back. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Barely. Well, three is 250. Welcome to the woods. And you have two options here, which I like. Left fairway, right fairway. I'm gonna go forehand down the left. Low down. Skip in. Oh. You got a putt. Yeah, circle's edge. Yep. So far, this camera is definitely not bad. Oh. Ooh, right behind it. Simon is edge your circle, like we said. Keep the streak alive. Yep. Yeah, great putt. Three for three, course record, here I come. Yeah. This camera honestly seems pretty incredible. Should have a better sensor than my old one. So the zoom and the focus should be just cleaner, faster. All around just a bit better. Hole four, 288, downhill. And it, unfortunately it's a blind shot so you can't really see but the basket is kind of right behind that pine tree. Test the forehand is looking oh, good today. Perfect. Yeah, that's Didn't pretty Didn't hear chains, but I think I'm parked. Yep. Paul, you're one back. What are you going to do? Not hit first available. Okay. We're kind of doing partner look today. Black and blue. Oh, I hit sixth available. Ooh, focus tried. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Probably just circle two edge. Oh, that's a tester comebacker. Let's see how this zoom, this focus works if I push the screen. Oh, my. oh, that worked perfectly. I parked it with my favorite disc. Kind of, sorta. Woo! Yeah, this Spike is a funky you. angle. It's doable. Um. But you gotta go high and just barely miss that branch. Inside. Go in. Oh! Good. I hope it's not OB. <laughs> this camera is giving me like weird options. Oh. It like recognizes the lighting I'm in and then changes options. What? Pretty funky. Backlight portrait we're at right now. Fancy. I don't know what that means. This course is brand new. There's brush all over the place. Good layup for par. Yeah. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Parked it. I think I'm five through five. Oh, that sounds about right, yeah. Oh, this next hole is fun though. This next hole is fun. Pretty cool hole. Hole six, maybe signature hole even. 438, par three, 30 feet downhill. Back in the open. And it's like on a side slope, and if you go in with a hyzer, this is actually a very technical shot, even though there's nothing, nothing to miss. You think mid-range or driver? I would go over stable fairway. Matrix? Or matrix. Yeah, I'm going to try to swing it out pretty wide, because when I test through this, I missed way left. Okay, here we go. That is definitely wide. Get down. Maybe long, a bit short. Long putt. Here we would have been better. Let's see what Paul's got. Can't see that. And try get get. Oh, highlight putt coming up. Should have listened to my caddy, Paul. Yeah, needs an overstable fairway, not a not a mid. Fifty short. Death putt. Run it all day. Come on. To stay perfect. Oh. oh. I'm not even gonna attempt that again. It felt <laughs> so bad. Paul has a chance to get a stroke back. Not sure if he can get it right under the rim. Good putt. Hole number seven might be the shortest and most aceable hole because there's really nothing in the way. It is pretty severely downhill and everything short 
is OB. There's a little path here, but if you go along in the woods, you're fine. Let's give it a run here. I am six down. No, I'm five down. Sorry, my bad. And I think Paul is four. Please drop. Drop. Oh. Uh oh. Good. I mean, good is relative and extremely subjective, <laughs> but I'm safe. Show the basket. It looks so cool with this stump. Very appreciated feature on the course. Easy birdie. Back on the train. I think I can do digital zoom as well. So look how close I can get. I'm about 30 feet away from him right now. Incredible. So good. Good putt too. Hole number eight is a short par four, 380, but it is extremely guarded. And it's a left to right dog leg. So... You kind of just want to get it down there and get a look for a three. You can get aggressive with the forehand. And if you get lucky... Sound like it got down there good ways. Yeah. I don't know if I should go backhand or forehand. I might your, go. For, your forehand's been looking pretty good, so... Really? It, it Yeah. That's so rare. The two Tesla okay. shots proved it. Didn't want it only focused on you, but didn't hit a single thing. That might be parked. Told you. <laughs> you can give this a little eagle bit, I'd say. Without too much risk. Come back. Your putters are just too glidey. I know they are. So I've got a putt for eagle to get back to perfect. Yeah, that, back to perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Come on. Yeah, let's go. In the heart. Wait, this whole eight. Seven? Hole eight. Eight down through eight? Yep. Hole nine. Front nine almost done. That was fast. Par four, 378. Sounds way too short, but the way this whole angles, you have an initial gap and then go straight left. I think with a perfect like tight hyzer, then flip up. So a flippy disc. You can get like circle two maybe? Yeah, you can. All is very certain. All right, here we go. Eight through eight. Let's have perfect front nine. Four. Ooh, more power. Wow, that just kept go That might yeah, be a putt. I think that could be circle one. What? Here we go. Scramble <laughs> City. One gap to hit. Yes. There you go. You have Pretty a putt. Pretty good, right? Yeah, you'll have a putt for the perfect front nine. This is what he has left for Eagle. I can't believe it. I think this hole can see much better drives. Oh, you gotta hate that spit out, that's or right. is that a miss? Uh, right side, I would call it a 75% make. Yeah. Yeah, some of these rough areas are thorns, and yeah. I wonder what the poison ivy levels out here are. Maybe pretty high. Birdie. Ah. Yeah, can't gain one on him. Unfortunately. Birdie save. I love that uh, expression. All right, we're at hole 10, another par 4, 447 downhill. And I think this hole might need a mando because the initial, the intended fairway and the gap is straight through those trees. But for big arms, we can go over the top and right. And I think that kind of takes the teeth out of the hole a bit. Yep. Also, there's a road out there. Maybe consider a mando. I'm gonna have to run up there. I'm just gonna go full cylinder over the top because right now I still can. And I'm trying to shoot course record. Take advantage of it. That feels low. Couldn't see it at all, but. No, it, it hit something way down there. I think it's fine. I don't know. Paul going the more traditional route, which is low forehand. Stinger, I'm gonna call it. Oh my. Oh my. 
That's phenomenal. Hopefully that eagle putt can stay. That's best case scenario almost, I'd say. Yeah, for me. Yeah. yeah. Phenomenal drive. And this is for eagle. Can he do it? <gasps> oh, what? You love that right side. Oh my gosh. So sad. So the verdict for this hole needs a mando. Yeah. I threw a kind of mass shot and I have a 30 foot eagle putt. Somehow. Oh, and then yours catch. How does that catch? Pixel, baby. Oh, Get yours boy. next year. Okay, I just realized I'm 11 under through 10. So things are getting serious. I'm on a heater. Maybe this course is too easy, or maybe I'm just that good. <laughs> All right, we are at one of my favorite holes out here. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Three, 290. Pretty much a little valley shot over nice green grass. Big pine trees. Nothing to complain about. All I need is the ace. If I ace this, I think I have a course record guaranteed almost. Yep. Just do it. Oh, he wanted it. Probably can't catch me anymore. But he's still here. To impress. Is that good? Oh, what a shot. What a fun hole. I love it. We were both so close there that uh, we didn't film the putts. But I am now at 12 through 11. Check this hole out. Another par four, I think. Just a blaster. How far is this? 480. Eagle chance, Paul. Yeah, again. 480 is such a tweener distance. Yeah, it's kind of tough for, for you to figure Maybe out. Maybe time lapse. I would go like stable time lapse. Well, I don't have a stable one in my bag. Oh. Or dimension. Soft dimension? Sure. I'll go dimension first. Make sure I get it there. Stay up. Okay. I don't know. Long I'll try time. the time lapse just for fun. Give it a little rip. Smooth. Yeah, that definitely went long. <laughs> wow. Are you going roller? No. No. Air shot for Paul. 480. I think he got that. So I'll give it some height. Give it some speed. Give it some turn. Ooh, a nice little camera effect there. Way left. Well, how do you feel about that? Not good. Didn't commit to it. Yeah. On these long putts, I feel like I'm like grip walking for some reason. I'd rather have a grip lock than early left. Ugh. My time lapse was actually parked. Go figure. Let's see if I can get this brightened. Paul from way left. Bringing it in. Oh, good bid. I'm cameraman. Oh, one of the last trees. You'll have a putt though. I think I'm putting. Yeah. Paul, what happens if I push this? Oh, now it's focused on animals? This is wild. Oh, now it's focused on cars? <laughs> Whoops. Couldn't see where it went. Was it good? Yeah, pretty straight up there. Perfect. And I am about a foot away. Come on. Yeah. I think every T sign should be ish. <laughs> you never really know. But this is a sick hole. Crazy valley shot. On the camera you probably can't see. It goes straight down and then straight up on the other side. And I gotta go for the course record. Say it. No! Oh, ghost tree. I wonder if that tree is there to avoid rollaways. Oh, you. Oh, no. Wait, did he do it? Did he go way over it or is way, that close? Way long. Way long. About 45 feet uphill. Pretty steep uphill. 
Oh. Forty footer. Ching a ling, no problem. I'm back to perfect. Thirteen through thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Through fourteen. Okay, four holes left. I can't crumble now. On thirteen. This is one of the most raw looking holes. Oh, and he hits one of the many trees. Basket is right there. Let me see that T sign. 3272. They kind of give you an option here to go right or left. I'm gonna try to flex out with the pyro. The right side has too many skinny trees to get through. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. Yep. Five feet. Great shot. Four. Just to save. Birdie! Parked. Thanks. Nice. This is how you throw pyro. Oh, good filming, Simon. 268. You can kind of see the basket out there. Inside gap, outside gap. Over the top would probably be my tournament play. Yep. Like a grenade or something. I'm going for the ace. Straight down the middle. Also, no tee pad yet. God, the pyro is stable sometimes. <laughs> Let's see if Paul has what it takes to hit the gap. Ooh, highlight putt potential. Yeah. Or a putt from circle two. Nice. Easy. 17 is another par four. 435. I think it's an eagle chance. Oh yeah, it is. Definitely. You just gotta make sure you give it some juice and some turn. Cause he wanted a late flip up there. Come on. Why do I do that sometimes? Let me re-throw instantly. I'm not OB, so I can get a birdie still, but come on. That's how you should throw this hole. Yep. That's for sure an eagle putt right there. <laughs> this hole actually has great potential to be one of my favorite holes out here. If they have a gold basket position or something, but this fairway is really nice. I think in the summer it'll really come together nicely. A little straight, but at least yeah. distance. Yeah. I'm in trouble because I really want this birdie. There's a high hyzer, there's a little forehand pitcher, but so, I think the hyzer is my shot. I think you're overthinking Just that. Just to guarantee <laughs> myself that I have a look for birdie. Probably won't be able to see it in the sky, but we'll try to watch it crashing down. Just zoom in on the basket. Yep. That's where it's headed, I hope. Yeah. Good. It's a bit less, a bit short. Oh yeah. Under it? I think it's a putt. No. I no? think 25 at least. Okay. This is actually for eagle from about 70 feet. Give it it! Whoa. Whoa. I'm actually much closer than I thought. Oh, Paul's giving it a take two. Second chance. Maybe. Ooh. I'm much closer than I thought. Which means I'm tapping in for birdie to go 17 through 17. And there were no double takes. This was all one take. Which makes me wonder if this course is just way too easy. Obviously it wasn't built for pros. But on a first real run through to shoot perfect or close to perfect. Maybe it's a bit on the soft side. Which is okay. I think beginners or rec players will have still a pretty good challenge out here. We made it to the unfinished part of the course. This is what an unfinished tee pad looks like. But look at the beauty of 18. Cool signage. Beautiful hole. What do you think, Paul? How do you like this course? I really enjoy it because it's definitely built for mid-level players and advanced players that want to, you know, score low and sto score low and have fun. Yeah. I think it's very well designed for the mid-tier players. 
Well, do you know your score right now or not really? I believe I'm 14. Really? 13. Yeah, something You're like also that. kind of shredding. Yeah. No, it's not. Do you think I'm going to go 18 for 18? Um, I feel like the classic thing to do on a course like this is blow it on 18, but... All right. I think you, I think Watch me to... blow it. Uphill yep. 269. A little straight Tesla shot. No problem. Oh, no. What did you do? Fine, I want to finish on a highlight putt anyway. <laughs> this lens is looking nice right now. Wow. Also left. Yeah. Bit better than me, not great. Yeah. Why is my putt so rough? Oh. Uh, Next time, give you a reason to come back out here. So I shot 17. <laughs> that is so depressing. Paul to shoot 13, 14, or 15. Ish. He counts Lovely. it. Look at the signage here. That's just so cool, so beautiful. That just adds a lot. Back view basket and that was it hillside park disc golf course in boylston mass it's literally my home my new home course just a couple minute drive and i'll be out here a lot good practice field all right that was hillside park brand new course literally a couple weeks old i want to say one thing first this course was designed by guys who I don't think have been in the game for too long and are clearly not professionals or even anything along those lines. And I think with that in mind, this course is pretty phenomenal. Right? I agree, 100%. 100%. Yeah, my new home course, I absolutely love it, guys. Like and subscribe, thanks for watching. Thanks, Paul, as always, for helping yeah. out. 17 under, new course record to beat. Good luck, enjoy the shot of the day, and peace. in.